no child should be exposed to an environmental toxin. A new study is suggesting that Flint children might be better off compared to other cities across the state when it comes to lead exposure, even after the Flint water crisis. Ernan Gomez is a Hurley doctor and the lead author of a new study in the Journal of Pediatrics. It is very clear that the water is improving. There's no question about that. Gomez and a team of researchers looked at blood lead levels in children in Flint as far back as 2006. Anything more than five micrograms per deciliter is cause for concern. 2006, nearly 12 percent of all sampled Flint children had a number higher than five. On the average, during the water switch time period, there was a change. But during the years 2006, which we studied, these children not only had a higher level and therefore had a higher risk of neurologic damage during this period of time, but over a more sustained period of time. But that number from 2006 has significantly decreased over the past decade, even during the water crisis. Gomez says there was only a small spike during the crisis in children with blood testing higher than five for lead. Gomez goes on to say that no child during the water crisis ever had to be admitted to the hospital for lead exposure. And my message to mothers would simply be uh, that your child would have been at much higher risk had your child been born in 2006, without question. Gomez adds that he hopes that lead levels across the state will one day be at zero, but he says the lead levels here in Flint are already something to be admired. Reporting in Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.